Hello, my YouTube friends. This is Major from Major Honey. Let's see what the next frame looks like. I will probably. It is May the ninth. Get ready to have a nectar flow coming in the next week or so. So probably if the if it comes. Look at there, that one's almost done. See how they've all, they've, see how it's capped at the top? I'm gonna go all the way down. See, they lack a little bit more at the bottom down here. Like I was saying, probably a week or so, if the flow comes on like I think it's going to, probably be able to pull they'll probably fill all this out and this will be ready for me to take off and extract and I will have honey by the middle of May at least one one super anyways I've already got my regular customers asking me when is it coming off you know because they're they're eager to get some of this year's honey and I'm eager to get it to them you know, that's part of beekeeping. That's, you know, I, uh, it's part of the enjoyment, getting the honey and having it and producing something with the help of the bees, of course. Of course, they do all the work, but I try to take care of them the best I can, make sure they got everything they need. See this, this frame here. It's halfway down. We got a lot of pollen right in there, you can see. And see how it's different colors. Some of it's black. It's interesting how they have different colors. The other side's the same way. They've got it all but that one little area right there that they got pollen in. When they use that pollen up, they'll they'll finish it off. And see here we got some brood in this one. It was closer to the center of the chamber. She's come up and laid eggs here. And got some brood coming off. Shortly within the next week or less. A lot of pollen around it. Same on this side. Which that there's no problem with that whatsoever. Right there's a looks like a drone coming out right here. See it? Come on, buddy. He's trying to get his way out. Here's another one right here. So these are the few of the last drones coming off. It's probably not gonna be doing sand probably not going to be laying a lot more drones we've got quite a bit so and they'll lay a few you know what they need I wouldn't worry too much about it though but it's always interesting when I can catch them coming out I always like that and what they'll do is as they go they'll use this They'll use that pollen and then they'll backfill it with honey, nectar that will be honey. Now what I'm going to do, now this is a single eight, and it's the time that I put this super on. I really, It was a strong hive, but I didn't want to 
completely put a, an eight, uh, another full eight on top of it because I didn't want to give them too much space at one time. So, see we're closer to the brood chamber, so there's a lot more brood. And there's the queen. Look at there. There's a lot more brood here closer to the chamber. Well, I seen her, then she ran off. There she is on the edge right there. Getting ready to crawl down on the other side. Let me flip it around here. And she came back around. There she is. You know, um, we're getting a lot of videos of the queen. A lot of times, people don't, I don't think people get that lucky or are unable to get that many videos of their queen. Sometimes they're hard to spot and they're quick. Look at the tail on that one. It's just got barely a black tip on it. You remember from some of my other queens, they had blacker tails and then they had maybe a portion of it was black at the end but she's up here looking for a place to lay let me put her back in here before we get before she gets too excited and what I'm gonna probably do is I'm going I think now that we will be able to add another box on here. I'm going to add an eight frame box, another brood box. And then I'll, I'll move this, this super, this medium super up to the top. And then she'll probably stop laying in it. And she'll have place to lay in the second brood box, second eight frame box. And then they will use all this pollen and backfill where the brood's hatched and we'll have a super honey before you know it. So that's all we need to see there. That was pretty easy peasy, right? So probably in the next day or so we're getting ready to have a rain spell. So as soon as I am able, weather permitting, I will add another box. This is Major with Major Honey. Like, subscribe. Feel free to comment. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Thanks. I appreciate you.